Welcome back to EDUO 90. Tim and Morgan here, and on this episode, we'll highlight some of the useful accessibility tools available on Chromebooks. That's right. Schools include all different types of learners, with educators working hard to support their diverse needs. So it's critical that they have the tools to keep students included, engaged, and informed throughout the learning process. Today, we'll examine how Google's Chromebook accessibility tools support individual learning styles with built-in accommodations. Students have diverse abilities and wide-ranging needs, and Chromebooks come with assistive technologies built in, as well as the ability to support additional technologies. These enable users to customize their device and browser's functionality to best meet their needs so they can focus on learning. Best of all, users can customize their own Chromebook accessibility settings just once, and then those settings are automatically applied when they sign in on any device. That way, in classrooms that share Chromebooks, students and teachers can be supported with every login without spending extra time updating their settings. Students can also log in from their Chromebook at home and maintain the same accessibility settings that they use in school. Let's take a look at some of the built-in tools that are especially useful on Chromebooks. Students who are low vision or blind and need additional support can choose from a variety of visual aids within Chromebooks, including high contrast mode, full page zoom, magnification, and more. Chromebooks also come built in with the Chrome Vox screen reader, which reads all the text on the screen aloud and can be enabled or disabled at any time. Another screen reading option is Select to Speak, which allows students to highlight the specific words on a page they want read aloud and see word by word highlighting. For users who have limited hearing in one ear, Chromebooks can play the same sound through both speakers so you don't miss a word. And students who struggle with keyboards or have difficulty typing can instead use their Chromebooks on-screen keyboard, which enables them to generate text with a touch, a mouse, or a joystick. These are just a few of the many ways Chromebooks empower students to engage with their written and audiovisual learning materials. Accessibility features are a huge focus of Google for Education product teams, and if you'd like to learn more about how Google Chrome's accessibility features can support students in your classroom, check out the links below. And we're always looking for ways to improve the usefulness of our tools. In the comments below, tell us which accessibility features you find most useful and what features and functionality you'd like to see added in the future. We'll see you next time. Curious about bringing Google Earth into your classroom, but not sure where to start? Check out our last episode where we share suggested uses from teachers like you.